so neat so our first one is set up a maven project so yesterday we have seen how to set up the java and eclipse in your system so how to do the environment variable configurations and i have shown you how you can launch eclipse for your system <coughs> so now what is the first step is you have to create a new project so you have to go to file you have to go new and then you have to click on a project once you will click on a project you will see multiple type of a project that you can create you can either create a java project you can either create a gradle project you can create a maven project also right so multiple projects you can create here you can also create the java project but uh, i will be tell you that uh, we will be creating the maven project so maven will you will see once you will create the maven project and it will be having the complete folder type structures there like in which folder we have to put what kind of a file and logic will be there and in company also either we use uh, maven or maybe we can use a gradle only so normal java project we don't use and we use all mostly the maven project only in companies okay rahul just one question so like <coughs> you want us to do parallelly or like you want to focus us on the uh, like? no you have to focus on uh, this session and okay. once uh, it will be done you can do the practice after the class or you have the complete day so you can do the practice sure 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 thank you yeah so after that you just you have to select on the maven project you have to click on in next again you have to click on the next button and here some archetypes will be you know display on your screen so archetype is basically a different type of a, a project that you can create here like if you're working as a java developer for a spring boot if you want to create that kind of a project you have to use the spring boot right react js is there so multiple type of a projects uh, archetypes will be there for you so here we will be selecting this mvc1 blank archetype here after selecting this you have to click on the next now you have to give the two values here that is group id artifact id so group id i mean we can give give, uh, give any name to them according to your project suppose your project name is a flip card so you can give a flip card archetype id also you can give the same we will give some name like uh, fab morning batch in same value we will give in the archetype id as well and you feel you see by default it will create a package uh, with your group id and artifact id after entering this value you have to click on a finish and it will take a some time you can see in the uh, in the down it is processing it and it is creating a project for you so it's building its stuff now you can see in the project explorer the fab morning batch is here this project and it is having the different folders for you yeah rahul just one question <coughs> and before uh, giving group id and artifact id you have selected arc type right that will be same for uh, all the projects like you have selected one type right yes so will it... it will okay. be same for us if you are working for a automation project you have to select that okay that is same right yeah that is the same because okay. like if you are working on a spring boot like developers also use the eclipse id it is not only for the automation tester so okay. developer also use the same tool to develop the application and if they are creating the project they will select the different archetype id based on the project based on technology they are using if they are using spring boot they will select the spring boot if they are uh, using react js in for their application they will select the react js for that okay. but for us yeah mm -hmm. for us we have to select mvc1 we can select or there is a one also when uh, one more will be there archetype one only not okay. the mvc maybe you can select that one also it is the similar one only you will get the similar folder there as well okay, okay. so you can select any one but in always we have to select the same for every type of a project for our automation framework okay thank you okay and here if we once we have created the project so you can see we are having the src main slash java folder and this one is having one package that we have created fair morning batch fair morning batch so under this package we have to create all our main files like our uh, uh, like selenium common functions or application business functions that kind of a files page object model 
so that we have to create under this main slash java folder let me delete all these extra files we don't need the extra files so we can delete it okay once it's done now you can see the next folder is uh, main resource folder so what we will put in the main resource folder basically like a uh, chrome driver.exe file is there for us right so that kind of a file which is having you know some kind of a resources for us so that external resource file basically that we put in our resources folder and next is that you can see test slash java <coughs> And resources means what rahul resources means external libraries like uh, chrome driver is there right browser okay. chrome driver so that okay. we will put in the resources folder we will not combine it with any different folder okay okay right like say if you want to import uh, apache P uh, poi no no Those... <coughs> see apache poi for we uh, for apache poi we will be using the maven dependencies Okay. okay once we will use the maven dependencies automatically it will download the jar files under this folder maven dependencies folder okay 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 nowadays that we don't download the external jar files okay in our system and then we have to use in our project directly just we have to mention the dependency maven dependency and whatever the version you will uh, use so it will automatically download that particular library for you in your project I will show you that as well but okay. for now resources we generally we uh, put the chrome driver or firefox or ace driver such kind of a uh, libraries we put in resources folder okay and next one is the test slash java is there so in this test slash java we create multiple folder here as per the module wise and then we create the test cases under this so every time whenever you will be start working on a new project you will find the test case under the test slash java and this test slash resources folder is there under this folder we will put our test ng files like test ng dot xml file is there so that kind of a file we put under the test slash resources folder <coughs> these are basically packages so and we can create the multiple packages as well and this GRE system library is containing the Java, all the Java uh, jar files. So I think yesterday one was asking about the Selenium APIs that I will tell you. So these yes. all are the libraries. You can see JRE is having this kind of API, right? Dot jar, dot jar, dot jar. So this is APIs for us. And everyone is having the different class and interface. And we are going to use that in our coding. You can see these are the package now under this package there will be the class and we are using the this class functions for our uh, coding so that's why we call it as a api okay so this is uh, all of, it will be containing about the java libraries whatever is installed in your system and next will be maven dependencies suppose uh, you will be going to use extend report apache poi selenium web driver so every type of a jar file is will be getting download in your maven dependencies <coughs> and this src and target folder are basically will be containing your compiled files so we don't bother about these two folders and this is the pom.xml file in this file uh, we mention the dependencies for maven dependencies like if we want to use for selenium so just we have to mention uh, like this group id artifact id and version which version you want to use for selenium just you have to mention that and automatically it will download the jar file under the maven dependencies folder for you <coughs> got it right so yes. any doubt in that no, Rahul, good. Like when you say this uh, test resources and you said like uh, XML files, right? Right. No, yeah, XML files are property files. Both are same, right? We, we are same. Yeah, you can put property file, but property file you have to put in resources folder. But property file is not the same at testng.xml file. Testng.xml file, I am talking about where we will put all the test cases into a one file and we can run all the test cases as a one as a test with smoke suit regression suit like that 
ओके प्रॉपर्टी फाइल आई थिंक यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द वेरिएबल्स एंड वैल्यूज यस 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 दैट काइंड ऑफ अ फाइल इज जनरली पुट इन द रिसोर्सेज ओनली मेन स्लैश रिसोर्सेज बिकॉज़ दैट इज नॉट अ टेस्ट रिसोर्स फॉर अस दैट्स अ मेन रिसोर्स फॉर अस ओके 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 so the next thing is like we have created a maven project all the same steps i have mentioned here what you can select and we have created a package also 